What's up guys, welcome to Top Hang For You and in today's video I'm going to do an unboxing of the Huawei Smart Magnetic Keyboard for the uh, MatePad Pro and as you can see it comes uh, with, a, with a nice white box so uh, at the back uh, you have the uh, some instructions there Let's uh, open the box up. Okay, here's the uh, the actual keyboard uh, inside the box. There's nothing else. Here we have uh, some uh, instructions, uh, a quick starter guide, and then the warranty card, and some paperwork, nothing interesting in here. There you go, so here's the actual keyboard itself. It's a uh, nice, it's got a texture of like, uh, it's not leather, but it's hard plastic with some really nice texture in there as you can see there yeah and uh, at the back yeah same all the way around and as you open the actual case with the with the actual keyboard with the two angle there two different angle you could place your tablets and the keypad is a uh, if you look there it, it's quite flat once it's because to stop the tablet when you close it to press the keys and that's a quite good nice feel the buttons are very well built everything is uh, nice there is no escape button other than that everything else is uh, as uh, it should be on a normal keyboard and uh, you have the NFC chip there. When you have a Huawei phone, you can use that to uh, connect it to the tablet using the dual screen mode. Yeah, and um, when you open it up, you've got some instructions there. So uh, keyboard shortcut, one plus two, it's a return or escape, and then a three, and for at the same time then give you the keyboard navigation let's uh, connect the MatePad uh, Pro to the keyboard and link it up okay to pair the keyboard just uh, at the back it just uh, stick to the it's a magnetic which sticks to the actual tablet at the back so you just place it and that's it Okay, once you dock the tablet uh, into the keypad and um, you presented it to this uh, on-screen uh, instruction how to connect it all you need to do make sure your bluetooth is switched on on the tablet and uh, all you need to do just uh, tap on connect and wait for the keypad to connect to the tablet okay once uh, yeah once it's connected you can just uh, open uh, a notepad and you can start typing it's, and it's a very nice, a very well built. And you have the caps lock, you have the uh, NFC connection buttons there. Go, you can uh, so you just press them to as escape you just press uh, the 
These two buttons is escape. Is escape, that's the shortcut for escape. Once you lift it up, and then it disconnects. So when uh, you fold the tablet to the back like this, so you don't start typing while you, you're browsing. There you go. So, and when it's closed, you it, it see that, that camera bump, it make it flat. And there. It, uh, yeah, it's, it's very nice. So it's better to, uh, when you buy the tablet to get the, uh, at the moment here in the UK, when you buy the, uh, the MetPad Pro, they give you the keyboard uh, free of charge, as otherwise it will end up costing you about 170 pound uh, to purchase uh, the, uh, the keyboard. So uh, that's how thick it is, you see. then it's connect. I have a Bluetooth mouse and I'm going, just gonna pair it with the tablet and see how uh, you can use it as well. So I'm just gonna switch on the mouse and then press that. Go to the settings, Bluetooth, and uh, I'll just connect with the mouse. Okay, yeah, there you go. The mouse is now uh, connected. You can see I can use it as a small laptop. Okay, now that I've connected the, the mouse, as you can see there, the mouse is uh, moving around there. You just uh, bring your screen down and down. And then once you open the full screen, you can drag this there. Yeah. And multi screen collaboration. You got the ebook reader as well. Okay, so once yeah, that's done, so I'm just gonna switch desktop mode on. Don't mind, and then enter. That will uh, turn the tablet into a small laptop. Look how it is there as a a, a laptop. You got your menu. You can just open the start button, and then uh, you can. Browse the internet, it's very nice, very well. You have all your apps in there, which works very well. And then you can use your mouse, you can uh, open uh, documents. Some apps uh, don't support uh, the desktop mode, also all the, uh, all the um, apps you're using must uh, yeah, so about the desktop mode, as you can see, it's got all the minimize. You can minimize it, which you'll put at the bottom, and maximize it as a. Yeah, it's a very, very well laid out. But you just need more apps, as you can see there. And um, if I wanna add an, an icon to the desktop, I can just right click, and then add it to desktop. There you go, and it's there. I can just double click and open use as a tablet and uh, with a, or a laptop which is a, a quite a good feature to have so um, and uh, yeah it's uh, take all the boxes with the on the MetPad Pro and um, it's a shame that it doesn't have it doesn't come with the Google Play Store but if uh, most of your apps don't use the Google Play Store and uh, you want to use it as a you know um, a tablet or a, a small laptop to travel with and you'll be fine everything will work as it should and most of the app so you just tap on exit desktop mode which will put you back to your tablet and you still can use the keyboard and the mouse to uh, scroll around so uh, as I see um, I've got a Google uh, Play Store on this one uh, so uh, if you're interested uh, in seeing how you can get Google Play Store on the MetPad Pro uh, feel free to check my uh, video uh, and I'll leave a link in the description below.
but um, this one I have updated it to the latest uh, EMUI but you just need to make sure uh, before you can uh, it's uh, before you can uh, install Google Play Store you have to downgrade it to an earlier version which uh, I've uh, done all the instructions you can either use uh, high suits or uh, download the firmware and do a manual downgrade then once you have a uh, Google Play Store uh, installed and all the errors have been cleared you're free to update to the latest one and remove the LZ Play um, and uh, the uh, any other apps you don't need you can uninstall them and Google services uh, will uh, still be working okay that's it from me if you enjoy this video give it thumbs up and uh, share it with your friends and uh, don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button and enable notification for more video thank you for watching stay safe and I'll see you on the next one